Hi guys, welcome back to How to Be Boyfriend with me, Abby Noel, and my good special guest, Nin. Hello, everybody. Hello. Okay, and she's made a decision with her hunter-gatherer instincts because yes. she, she's not a bird. She's, she's not a bird. I am a very homo sapien. Really? Very homo sapien. That's very brave of you um, to admit on a video. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, this is just, I just feel so open here. I I'm, just. I'm so proud of you for finally admitting it. <laughs> okay. okay. We so, <laughs> last time we were with the uh, dilemma uh, maybe we should leave this store. And then we have the options to leave, go to the furniture section, or the clothing section. And my hunter gather instincts that I have accepted told me to stop by the furniture section. Okay. Let us do this. I'm clicking it. Now. Wow. What a bed. Ooh. There's a heart on the bed. I'm not sure this would even fit inside my house. You live in a cave. Um, anyway, just what kind of mansions does the high society live in? There are humidifiers, hot water bottles, and other thermal frivol frivolities <laughs> lined up nearby. Winter goods are awfully fancy. Maybe I should indulge in something? A bonfire alone just doesn't sound... That just doesn't say decadent. Oh yeah, I forgot you live in a cave. Hey, could you love... Look over there. Oh no, what is it? I don't know, what are we looking at? Also, I would say... I, I'd say to save. Oh, to um, save? Yeah, I, yeah. You, you know how to do it? Mm, hold on. Okay. Yes. Because, uh, yeah. Okay. You good? Yes. It's, okay. it's different than the other games. So I was like, oh no, yeah. there's no folder to click. <laughs> we can't save it. You have to play the whole thing through in one sitting. Yes. Okay. A disturbingly familiar quail is fast asleep on a display bed. I think I know who it is. Sir, you can't just <laughs> crash in the department store. You're a grown up now. You need to take care of yourself. Oh. Oh. I don't know what voice to give him. Um, okay, um, uh, uh, oh, oh, if it isn't Love Pigeon and, and Quara, uh, what is it? D did you want to talk about career plans? <laughs> He's asleep in a department Career store. plans? <laughs> yeah, in a department store. Uh, are you fully awake, sir? Uh, we're not at school. Uh, oh. Oh, good heavens, so, so we aren't. You might have been here until closing time if we hadn't <laughs> happened by. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, it's been so cold recently, I was thinking maybe I should buy a new bed. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, oh, it feels... It does get very chilly after dark. Oh no! Make sure not to catch cold, you two. <laughs> Oh, no. Mr. Nanaki crawls out of the bed and wobbles off towards a table covered in wool blankets of various dimensions. Blankets. I bet my Casio Mini, he'll fall asleep on that, too. What the hell's a Casio Mini? I have no idea. There's nothing more to find here. Let's look somewhere else. Alright, where to next? Um, uh, the thefts have gotten onto the news. If we ask around, we should find some eyewitnesses. Sounds good. I'm worried. Nin, I've just had a thought. What? Where's Oko-san? Well, did you not just hear that glass break? <laughs> I think... I think... I think you may have your answer if that's not another robbery. I was just like, wait, wait. Uh, what? Huh? Some glass object splinters with behind us as we make for the exit. I turn and... Oh my god! What oh, is I... this the thieves? <laughs> what? What? A... Oh, what is this? Oh my god! I don't know. I don't know. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! What are those? They look... A little like doves, but... Not really? Oh, why, do are they... Why are they? Maybe they are doves. <laughs> In any case, 
a pair of bizarre white creatures are bludgeoning themselves against a number of glass Christmas trees and reindeer. What? Bludgeoning themselves. What? what? Oh no, you see this and all I can think about is, what are those? Okay, hopefully you don't actually. The shoes. It's fine. The shoes. What? <laughs> what are those? Are they doves? No, the shoes. I mean, um... <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. They're not shoes. Uh, I've never <laughs> seen anything like them. What are they? Oh my god, they're adorable! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> the creatures frolic through the Christmas to play like fuzzy wrecking balls, <laughs> leaving behind nothing but broken glass and lost profits. <laughs> they're both adorable god. and terrifying. Ugh, uh, the white children. Bassist. Whoa, hey now. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, oh the gold card. Yeah, oh dear, that's so good. Jingle ball. Sorry. You two. Where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take you to the employees' lounge. High society does have rules. Merry Christmas. Mm, Merry Christmas. The creatures trailed dejectedly after the security guard. What were those? Not shoes. Not shoes. <laughs> Not shoes. <laughs> those are pigeons. <laughs> no, not pigeons. They're birds. They're birds. They're a type of verb. Burb. They weren't. No, they, they looked like doves, but they weren't doves. Uh, I can't believe people let their kids run loose like that. Uh, I'd love to see the parents' face when they get bold. I guess Christmas gets everyone pretty excited. Sort of like demons with which rampage during the full moon. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. oh my God, that explains Black Friday. Because oh because it says like the Christmas thing comes in, it's like, Bruh, I'm gonna kill you, parents. Yeah. Handbags and earmuffs. Yes. Ryota and I spent some time asking around town, but no one had ever caught sight of the thieves. Apparently, trees aren't just being stolen from outside, but from inside houses as well. If only we knew what the culprits looked like. I wonder I wonder if it's those little kids that were shouting Merry Christmas. Just nonstop. I bet you... Uh, I bet you... Uh, Bag of mullet. Uh, okay. <laughs> Such a promise. Oh, oh, thank you for your efforts. Oh, cranberries. Cran cranberries. <laughs> cranberries. <laughs> oh, we searched around where we had the tree, but we couldn't find any clues. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ushihara. You didn't see them either, Mr. Uchi. Ushihara? Mm. Cranberries. Cranberry. I mean, correct. Correct cranberries. By the time Mr. Kawara and I got outside, the tree was already gone. That's. <laughs> was there something else? Uh, please look at this. Mr. Rabu sent it to me a few minutes ago. Oh, he took a picture of his phone! <gasps> Mr. Ushihara proffers his cell phone. What does that mean? Proffers? And, like, he shows it, but he, like, he's like, here, have a look at this. Okay. What is this? It's a cell phone. A smartphone. Fancy. That was very British of you. I didn't mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I liked it, I liked it. I, I liked it a lot. A smartphone. A smartphone. A smartphone. Fancy. Fancy. Oh, it is the kids! See? <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? You, you mean these shadows are... Cranberries. <laughs> Mr. Rabu said he took it just before he was rendered unconscious and before he could give me those damn cranberries I asked for. I want the cranberries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suspicious shadows carrying away the tree. 
Oh, they must be culprits. Those silhouettes look awfully familiar. Hmm. But maybe it's just my imagination. Really? I don't think think it is. Probably nothing. I wouldn't have gotten this far in the vicious food chain if I worried about little things like that. Okay, okay. <laughs> there are two of them, then. No, really? Uh, they're awfully oh, small. All five in the picture. Uh, it's a little hard to see in this picture. Uh, they do look familiar like we just saw them like five seconds ago, Ryota. Oh, Mr. Cranberry, I mean, Mr. Rabbit. Mr. Cranberry Rabbit has always been one of the strange local firms, so it would seem that the resolution is not particularly high. Always one of those people, is he? That does seem like him. <laughs> oh, this will help us a lot, Mr. Uishihara. We want to thank Mr. Rabbit for us, too. How is he doing right now? Uh, Zami is taking care of him. Rabu always seems a little bit incapable, or like he's in a subtly bad position. Sort of like he's always stuck being a background character. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much, but we found a clue. We'll pick up the trail tomorrow morning. Really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Later that evening, at St. Pigeonations. <gasps> Oh my gosh. <gasps> it took you a second. I was like, when is she going to see me? <laughs> oh my god, Yuya. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh, I can't even. I can't even. Then you're going to have to do Yuya your voice. I, 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 I have I, to do your voice? You have to do Yuya your oh, voice. No. I'll do Mr. How? Oni. Is it Mr. Oni or Mr. What, One? What type of voice should you have, though? He's very suave and sexy. And... I can't do suave and <laughs> sexy. Okay. <laughs> okay. suave and sexy. You can do it, do like <laughs> Salutations, Mr. One. It is rather chilly tonight, isn't it? Oh, you're still here, Sakazaka so Yuya? Uh, how haven't you been instructed to leave with the other students except an oh my emergency? God. <laughs> What? Are you doing a hillbilly accent? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's you. It's you. It's not. It's you. Oh, it's me. Oh, I sorry. I didn't click. <laughs> there is a little something going on, actually. Oh, aside from the usual. And what would that be? There have been orders to investigate the Christmas thieves. High priority. Oh, that's the string of thefts involving Christmas trees, isn't it? Really? He actually asked that, really? It's not as if they're growing legs and walking away, after all. And it's a little hard to imagine them spontaneously disappearing. And what is a night of sexy and luxurious discussion of sweet holiday love without a sparkling tree? Oh my gosh. Oh, blushing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite happy to take up the job to defend everything the ladies and gentlemen of the town have worked so hard to prepare for this special season. Wait, wait. E everything the ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I thought Yuya was like insinuating he swung both ways for a second. I was like, oh, Yuya. Ah, uh, uh, I see. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, you certainly seem eager enough. It's good to have a little zeal, but don't go letting your guard down just because the case in question is completely idiotic. We never know who may have laid traps for us where. Roger that. I'll carve into my pigeon heart. Oh no, that's not what that says. I'll carve it into my pigeon heart, Mr. One. It's okay, I, I got what you mean. I'll go take a look at a few things then. There is a tree here on campus, after all. Well, first I've heard of it. <clears throat> first I've heard of it. Where is it set up? In the student council room. You can see it from the grounds. 
Saki Yamas want to show off with his big, fine, all natural <laughs> tree. I just <laughs> hit my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so did I. I was like, I'm catching up. What? <laughs> he. <clears throat> he doesn't let anybody touch it, but you can always see it in his window. It's really quite childish. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little vanity while he's still young. To a point, at least. Oh, oh, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'll go take a look at the Count's room and then head to, into town. I'll send my report to HQ later. I do. I don't know how to say that, but it was a good guess. Uh, I do. I, I do. How do you say that, Abby? I do. Save me. I do. I do. I do. I do. It's like saying I do. Nearly. I do. But not quite. Okay. The Christmas thieves. Stealing the town's festivities is hardly an admirable pursuit. Oh, I suppose I'll see if I can bustle up any gadgets to give Sakazaki a hand. Hmm. Interesting. I hope my yo yo voice is good enough. <clears throat> your yo yo voice is wonderful. Hmm. The council room certainly has gotten some fancy renovations since Sakuya arrived. But this is him I'm dealing with. It'll look like sneaking in is going to be hard, but knowing him, he'll have overlooked something obvious. Huh? What the hell? What? What was that? Flap, 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 flap. What? You said flap, 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 flap. What are you doing? Flap, 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 flap. I was like, what are you doing in the school year? Please. <laughs> bah, this could be bad. I smell explosives. <laughs> what? <gasps> It's cold. Really cold. The moaning air this time of year is dangerous indeed. It makes my nose hurt. The birds are all in full winter plumage. I wonder if it's like wearing a down comforter everywhere. I wish I had winter plumage. Sadly, my skin is as bare and tender as my heart. Aww. So, I'm, so I might as well hurry up and get to school. Oh, pigeon love. So I mean, pigeon love. Huh? There's an awful lot of activity on the grounds today. A crowd of birds is milling around the side of the building. Uh, uh, stay calm, everyone. It may be dangerous, so uh, don't get too close. Uh, let's make sure nobody gets hurt, alright? Mr. Nanaki! What's happened? It must be bad if you're up <laughs> and about and wide awake at this time of day. Are you being saucy? Are you being saucy Super to me, young lady? It's obvious. It's obvious. Mm. Oh, good morning, love pigeon. You saucy little thing, you. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, it looks like the thieves broke in, I suppose. The thieves? Could he mean? No, that's right. Christmas thieves. Oh, apparently they broke in last night. Yeah, it seems they took the tree from the student council room. I told you, Sakia. We told you. <laughs> Ta -da! Nice work, Sakia. Nice, nice flag retrieval. But Saki looked so self-satisfied when he was talking about his perfect security. What happened? Um. Well, uh, look up. Up? As in, up at the council room? No, up, 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 up meaning down. Whoa! Wow, there's a hole in the side of the building. Oh, snap. The council room's window, or rather, its wall, is blasted open. Wow, they're not just thieves now. I bet they had to break at least five more laws to pull that off. She's the sass on this girl. Mm -hmm. oh, they certainly do seem to want Christmas trees. They would have been better off just asking him, though. Huh? The tree was placed near that window, right? If they broke in like this... Ah! I let my grace drop as I was lost in thought, and I see something white on the ground. 
It's extremely hard to tell with it mixed in with the broken glass and bits of plaster, but it looks like some sort of fur. Huh. It's not a feather. What? It looks like something that came off of a stuffed animal. Or maybe some sort of mammal. But I'm the only mammal in the school. <gasps> you did it! This could be a valuable clue. Oh my god. Standing here won't help me find anything out, though. I need to get Sakia to tell me exactly what happened. I might as well check a few other things along the way. No! Oh, save! Oh, save! Where'd you first? Save! You can save! Can I save right now? I think yes. Yes! yes. Oh, phew! Oh. Yes! Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okay. Also, you you said that maybe we did it, but don't baby f birds not have feathers? No, but you, I was gonna say, wait, no fur. Yeah, but they don't have fur. Yeah, but it's it's like a fuzz. Oh. Before they grow their feathers. Oh, I suppose you're right. Hmm. Where are you first? Oh, um, yeah, sorry, I got distracted by your sass. Oh <gasps> no, we could go to the library. Okay, okay, uh, let's stop the video here. Let's stop the video here. Okay. We're going to take a deep breather. Okay, we'll see you in the next part, guys. All right, bye. Okay, bye.